Hey guys, it's Mr. B. Uh, I'm going to go over the second set of sketch assignments. These are the ones that are due toward the end of the quarter. You'll be given a due date in class, but uh, this video is going to cover what the assignments are in case you were absent or in case you uh, spaced out that day. I know we all have our days. So uh, what I'm going to do is just give you the breakdown of what each of the drawing prompts are. Uh, and remember, you pick two of the three choices here, and one of them does need to be in color. If you color both, you might get a little bit of extra credit. So option number one is called Griffins are cool, but so are blank. Uh, and there's a picture of a griffin here. A griffin is an ancient mythological creature that has the back legs and body of a lion, but the front legs, wings, and head of an eagle. Um, Griffins were supposed to be very ferocious and powerful, but also very noble. So what I want you to do is to take two animals, at least two animals, and combine them into one. Um, and think about what the advantages and disadvantages of a creature like that would be. You can take any animal that exists. Um, people have asked if they can combine two different mythological creatures, like combining a unicorn and a basilisk. Whatever you'd like to do is cool with me. The most important thing to me is that I can tell what animals you combined. So don't tell me you combined a giraffe, a rhino, a dog, a cat, and a wolf, and then only have giraffe and dog parts visible. Make sure that whatever animals you decide to combine, that, that you're adding the detail to show uh, each part of it, um, so that each animal is a visible part of your mythological creature. So that's option number one. Option number two is called a trip around the world. And for this one, I'd like you to just imagine if you were going to set sail on a boat trip around the world, what would your boat look like? What would you want to bring along on the boat to keep you happy and comfortable during the trip? Um, in addition to what's listed here, who would you want to bring with you on your trip? Um, now, one thing that people often do for this sketch, and you have a couple of different options, but because it's a drawing assignment, because I'm interested in, in who and what sorts of things you would bring along on the boat, one way people choose to do it is to draw a cutaway view of the boat as it's traveling. So here's a picture of what a cutaway view would look like. Um, and you'll see these often in visual encyclopedias that, that show the inside of large vehicles like a boat or like a cruise ship. But that's a good way for you to kind of show what's inside the boat. If you want to just draw the outside of the boat, that's fine. But think about how you're going to be able to show the things I've talked about. Um, objects you'd want to bring with, people that you'd want to bring with. Um, it's a little bit easier to show if you do show that cutaway view. But again, it's open and, and you're free to do it the way you want. Just make sure that you can show those things. So you just want to draw your boat uh, as it's on its journey around the world. And then your last option, if you choose to do it, is called a feast in your honor. And for this one, I just want you to, to imagine that your family and friends decide to hold a big party for you, hold a feast uh, to honor all the hard work you've done so far in fifth grade. Um, and the feast is going to have all of your favorite things to eat. So what I'd like you to do for this sketch is to just draw your five favorite things to eat on the table for your feast. Um, it can be food. You can have food and drinks. That's all I really require for this one. Just make sure that you zoom in so that you can you can really focus on the details of the food. Um, every every time I give this assignment, someone always draws the table from half a mile away, and the chicken wings just look like a brown scribble. Mashed potatoes are just a white sort of blob. The more you zoom in, the more detail you can show, and the more realistic you can make the food look. Um, but really, all you, all you need to do is draw your five favorite things to eat. Some people have gone on the other side of this and, and gone crazy and drawn all the people that they would have at the party and even even those people's favorite foods. Now, I'm not requiring that. Obviously, the important thing to me is that you just think of the five things that you like to eat or drink and then draw them as well as you can on your table. So those are your three options. Um, pick two. Remember to color one of them and you'll be all set. See you guys in class.